Okay, so in the heart package that you receive from Kids Clay Room, you just want to take your heart and put it on the board covered with newspaper, and then we can get started. So, what you want to do, uh, I already rolled out my coils, but you want your coils to be about as thick as your finger. These are about as thick as my finger, pinky finger. And you want to scratch and attach them around the edge of the heart to create a little bowl. So, for scratching and attaching coils, I'll show you a trick. Obviously, on the heart itself, we can just do regular scratching and attaching all around the edge. Then, for coils, uh, I don't recommend going this way scratching. I recommend kind of holding it and scratching this way. Maybe kind of at a diagonal, so it's a little easier to scratch without rolling around. You definitely need to hold it while you scratch it. Now, I'm going to put water on all my scratches. Doo -doo -doo. Takes a while with a very tiny brush. Then, I'm going to scratch. Well, we're going to just attach them, so just kind of line this up. Get all the way around. Hopefully, this will be long enough. And if there's just a little extra, what you could do, you could take this off. Yeah, I would just take this off. Just kind of pull that off to the side. Now, when you're doing your coils, remember that you want to leave clay to the side to do decorations later. That's going to be in a separate video. This is just the video for building. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to I'm going to attach the other coils, just how I attached that first one, and then I'll get back to you. So now that I've attached all the coils, I have two options. I could leave it showing all the different layers of my coils, or I could blend it together. Now for blending, you could use a popsicle stick, you could use a spoon, I have a spoon here, it doesn't have to be plastic, it could be a metal spoon, it will wash off. And I'm going to do it on one side, but not the other, so you can see what it looks like. But you want to support from the inside and just kind of take the back of your spoon, press down, just kind of blend that all together, and then move it. So this is what the blended side looks like. Obviously you can get a finger clean up a little more, so this is what the blended side looks like, and then this is what the unblended side looks like. So it's totally up to you about what you want to do with your bowl. Um, if you want to go a little higher, you can, but just remember if you wanted clay to decorate the sides at the end, you have to leave enough aside to do that. Um, then once you're all done decorating and painting, you'll have a bag, and what you'll do is you'll just put this whole thing in the bag, back to kids clay room.